What sort of oppression do you face? Every man is an attacker for me. I have to leave the house always in fear. But don't you think viewing like an entire group and assuming they're attackers, that's kind of a dangerous worldview? That's the world that women live in. Your mother? You have a mother, right? Have you ever asked them if they've been attacked, assaulted? Right? Yes, yes. Okay, and what would they say to you? Exactly. But do you think that's honestly true, or do you think that that's what they told you? How many men do you know that have assaulted a woman? None? How, how does the math on that add up? You do realize that not all, all men are rapists, right? I know that not all men are rapists, but not all men are not prone to assault. What if men <laughs> say, you know, all women are liars? If all women are liars, and all men... I'm using it as an ex... But all men could potentially okay. attack me? She doesn't get it. There's, there's, there's no point. There's no point <laughs> in engaging. He's starting off middle ground. The more you keep doing yeah, these interviews, she's you're going to get red pilled. This is what happened to me. I started talking to these bots on the street who made no goddamn sense at all, spewing the same nonsense you see in Twitter, and then you're like, wow, everybody's brainwashed. So, if you're so concerned about men attacking you, why'd you stop and talk to a man? Why are you dressed like that? From somebody who says that, you know, men can attack them at any moment, you sure don't look like you'd be scared of a man. Of the thing that baffles me about a lot of women is you're telling a woman that looks like me that all men attack y'all when I walk the streets and I'm perfectly fine, untouched. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say I've never had situations happen to me. I have. But do you know when those times happen? When I was going to the bar, going out, when I was out all hours of the night with my friends. Ever since then, and I'm a homebody now, I go to the gym, I read books, I don't go out, I don't hang out with nobody. I'm home 24-7. I don't experience any of that stuff anymore. I change my life around. I don't view men the way a lot of women do. But do you know why? Because I change my mindset. I change my habits. I don't go out anymore around intoxicated people. A lot of women will sit here and be like, oh, men attack. Men do this, men do that. You're out every night with your homegirl three in the morning. And then a lot of the times that I sit down and actually talk to women who are feared and scared that they're going to get attacked uh, by a man, do you know what they tell me? Oh, it's because my friend told me this. Oh, I heard this or seen it on TV. Maybe you should stop watching TV if it's making you like this. Now, I get it. You are well, you're okay to be, you know, scared of what's going on in the world and, you know, cautious about certain things. But the way women go about things in this world, you make every man feel like he's an attacker because you see a couple videos. A lot of women in this day and age, yes, have been touched. Yes, have had stuff happen to them. But a lot of us have. And we are all different. I get that. But when you go and sit there and say all men can assault you and attack you, you just stop already dude just stop now the brainwashed part i won't say that because i do know that there are women out here who actually have been brutally r word and essayed and god bless you guys because i apologize that ever happened to you guys but there are some women out here and you know what women i'm talking about c2 tv shows oh i'm scared if she's so scared and fears for her life why the f is she outside at nighttime? exactly